This report contains privileged information that is the property of Wayland yutani Corporation. Clearance level S2 and above only. Employees and contracted workers with clearance levels below S2 found in possession of this report can expect immediate termination and subsequent legal prosecution. The information within spans three centuries of Wayland yutani contact with non-human intelligence focusing on the Xenomorph XX121. indicates confidential information that falls outside of your security clearance. Only by showing your worth to the Wayland yutani Corporation will this information become available. If you are viewing this report without Level S2 authorization, immediately discontinue and contact corporate security. Available at all times at... Welcome to the Wayland yutani Corporate Timeline. Herein you will find an overview of the company's vast history of innovation and achievements. Please be advised some content may be omitted due to order... October 1st, 1990, a maverick is born. Peter Wayland is born in Mumbai, India to an Oxford-educated professor of comparative mythology and a self-taught engineer. 2004, days after his 14th birthday, Peter Wayland is granted a method patent for a synthetic trachea constructed entirely of synthetically engineered stem cells. It is his 12th registered patent to date. 2012. Wayland Corporation is recognized as a legal entity and corporation under United States law and receives their certificate of incorporation from the company's house in the United Kingdom. Due to the combined value of Sir Peter Wayland's various patents and patent pendings, the company incorporates with a higher fair market valuation than any other company in history. March 2015. Wayland Industries launches first industrialized space mission to install solar panels that align and move in Earth's orbital plane but at an axle tilt, imitating a perpetual summer solstice. The renewable energy gathered in the months following this expedition made Peter Wayland his first billion. June 2015. Following Wayland's success with solar panels, Wayland Industries receives funding from a trio of major venture capital firms. February 2016. Using a precursor to the atmospheric processor of his own invention, Peter Wayland is able to generate a localized synthetic atmosphere above the polar ice cap, effectively ending global warming. July 2016. At the age of 25, Sir Peter Wayland becomes one of the youngest people to ever achieve knighthood. 2017. Sir Peter Wayland is honored with the Nobel Prize in Science for his extraordinary atmospheric work over the polar ice cap. Using capital from his 2015 success, Wayland acquires copyrights to technology developed by NASA's innovative but poorly funded project Prometheus. With Wayland's significantly augmented funding for the project, GIMO became a reality and proves the existence of simple life in Europa's ocean. 2022. Scientists from the Health Division identify the genetic chain of events for 98% of cancers. Using genetically altered cells, as well as elements found beyond Earth's heavens, Wayland successfully deploys an effective cure for almost all cancers. February 2023. Sir Peter Wayland is awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine for his cancer cure. In a now legendary TED Talk, Sir Peter Wayland clarifies his vision for Wayland Industries, laying the groundwork for the next 50 years of building better worlds. August 2023, Wayland Industries earns patent number 8,128,899 for method and apparatus for cybernetic individuals for use in scientific and industrial environments. May 2024, Wayland military engineers make the first significant improvements to rifling technology since the 19th century, tripling speed and doubling accuracy of projectiles. Exact rifling pattern and twist rate remain classified. September 2024, Wayland Industries makes first foray into the luxury goods market with its holographic environment simulator. It is the first HES able to accurately recreate aesthetic, mood, and sounds of any place in the known world, as well as provide live video feed from any calibrated receiver. Wayland Industry introduces the first rifle able to track targets from over 500 clicks away, as well as determine the target's health, physique, and whether they can be locked down. 2025, David 1. Wayland manufactures the first advanced Android prototype model of its kind. He is affectionately called David, a name Sir Peter Wayland had initially reserved for his own human son. March 2026, Wayland Industries earns patent number 9,158,239 for a chemical composition of classified properties, able to almost perfectly replicate the biological features and texture of human skin. June 2026, Wayland Industry earns patent number 10,445,075 for method and apparatus, 
This is for self-adjusting crosshairs that auto-process windage, Coriolis effects, trajectory, etc., eliminating the need for spotters and mathematical formulas. September 2026. Wayland acquires the world's largest public biotech firm, significantly bolstering the company's biotech holdings. November 2026. Wayland privatizes NASA's famous Kepler mission, increasing its funding tenfold and within the year discovers 6,546 more biocompatible planets. January 2028. David 2. Whelan makes significant adjustments to the David Android prototype, facilitating David's first interaction with humans. This initial meeting is very promising. March 2028, Whelan Industries becomes the first company in history to achieve a market capitalization of 100 billion in five years. May 2028, Whelan Labs in San Francisco discover the body's ability to hypersleep. The complete cessation of life processes which can be restarted when stasis is removed. The search for a practical application begins. August 2029, Wayland Industries earns patent number 11,280,599 for method and apparatus for a device that enhances the capacity of an extraterrestrial planetary environment to support life, effectively the first fully automated atmospheric processor. This patent is expected to make our founder's famous boast a reality. There are other worlds than this one, and if there is no air to breathe, we will simply have to make it. September 2029. Europe's nuclear research cooperative, CERN, runs out of government funding. Wayland acquires the organization as well as their largest particle accelerator and other facilities. December 2029. After years of litigation, Wayland wins the David Patton lawsuit against the Japanese startup Utani Corporation, effectively protecting the investment of both Wayland Industries and its shareholders. 2030. Wayland Industries earns patent number 12,004,556 for method and apparatus for a device that it can initiate monitor and terminate hypersleep. HCs revolutionize space travel permitting increasingly longer, more advanced missions and enabling unprecedented discovery. 2031. Terraforming begins on Luna with plans for multiple settlements. April 2032. Wayland acquires four of the largest existing defense conglomerates in the world. These major acquisitions significantly bolters multinational defense, security, and aerospace technology holdings. May 2032, Wayland scientists discover the inverse relationship between velocity and the flow of time, making the long sought after concept of faster than light travel a reality. The search for practical application begins. 2033, Wayland's one millionth employee is hired. His name is Dr. Richard Prost and he serves as chief statistician for the electronics division. 2034, Wayland Industries introduces the first FTL capable space exploration vehicle. The vehicle is named the Heliades. May 2035, the National Science Foundation lifts its restrictions on the commercial use of David Androids. June 2035, David 3. After Android regulations are lifted, the third generation David is deployed internally in order to test human acceptance of cybernetic individuals. Results are encouraging. July 2035, Wayland Industries opens several new offices across the globe, expanding corporate presence to Greece, Antarctica, El Salvador, and South Africa, to name a few. 2036, Wayland Industries launches the Explorers Academy, an alternative graduate school for underprivileged college students interested in the fields of biotech, nanotech, cybernetics, and terraforming. Top graduates of this program are offered positions at Wayland Industries. December 2037, Fortune 500 names Wayland Industries number one on their list of 10 best companies to work for. At this time, the discovery of the Outer Veil is also achieved. Wayland astronomers note an area of space appearing very rich in minerals and other natural resources. Wayland is expected to travel there within the century. 2038, Wayland supports veterans. Wayland Industries becomes chief employer of Asian conflict veterans, supplying 35% with steady work. May 2039, Using the Wayland Atmospheric Processor, the first functional and breathable atmosphere is produced on planet GJ667CC, clearing the way for further terraforming activities on other planets. May 14th, 2039, a milestone date in the company's history, marking the discovery of Archeron LV426. Wayland astronomers discover multiple moons and a ringed planet just outside the Zeta II Retula system, which are possibly able to support life. Wayland expects to travel there within the century. April 2042, David 4. David 4 becomes the first commercially available model of the David series. He is eventually expected to improve workflow and efficiency at offices and homes across the world. August 2042, 
Whaling Industries is awarded a government contract to build and maintain HD 85512B Class E Correctional Unit. Prisoners from Earth and other facilities are successfully relocated, and many have since been rehabilitated into society. November 2042, Wayland supports the future. Wayland Industries writes a $5 billion check to Little Explorers, a charity dedicated to the education of troubled middle school students interested in science and technology. 2051, Wayland Industries makes essential updates to on-planet transport. The new vehicle is capable of traversing any known terrain and has virtually no weight limit for cargo, passengers, and equipment. February 2052, Wayland Industries earns patent number 14,524,002 for method and apparatus for its first manned land vehicle capable of negotiating vertical surfaces. This technology permits Wayland scientists and terraforming teams to reach previously inaccessible destinations. July 2052, David 5. Wayland makes significant intellectual and emotional updates to the David android, further increasing human acceptance. August 2055, the National Association for Female Executives named Wayland Industries a top 50 company for executive women. 2056, Wayland Industries earns patent number 15,725,924 for method and apparatus for a mechanized exoskeleton used for lifting and moving heavy objects, such as crates and vehicle weaponry. This becomes to be known as the power loader. 2057, Wayland Industries earns patent number 15,999,127 for method and apparatus for an injectable luxury pod able to sustain one human life for up to 50 years. 2059, Wayland Industries introduces a unique expedition security apparatus able to decontaminate indoor and outdoor environments. Apparatus mines surrounding air for flammable compounds making it ultra lightweight as well as self replenishing. 2060, Wayland Industries introduces the Broca Dialectical Implant, a revolutionary, game-changing language tool. It is the first ever to require no actual learning on the consumer's behalf. 2061, Wayland Industries earns patent number 16,572,092 for method and apparatus for the first fully automated diagnosis and surgical station, the MedPod 720i. 2062, David 6. A substantial leap forward in artificial person's technology, only 7% of humans can recognize the sixth generation of David as a cybernetic individual. 2063, Wayland Industries earns patent number 17,900,353 for method and apparatus for the Spectograph, an anti-gravity device that 3D live maps any foreign terrain, revolutionizing the pre-process of terraforming and developing new colonies. 2064. Significantly upgraded spacesuits include a variety of Wayland patented features, such as cadium exoskeletons, info display with mission details, vitals, environmental stats, and more. June 2065. Sir Peter Wayland Memorial Library is built in Washington, D.C. November 2065. As Wayland Industries expands their terraforming activities and colonial endeavors, the company is approached by the U.S. government to begin work on the formation of a colonial peacekeeping force trained or populated by Marines in the event of future conflict. 2066. As production costs for the David series decreases, Wayland Industries is increasingly able to extend those savings to everyday consumers, leading to the remarkable proliferation of the product. 2068. David 7. Wayland builds and successfully deploys thousands of 7th generation Davids into workplaces across the universe. Human acceptance of David 7 reaches an all-time high thanks to Wayland's highly classified emotional encoding technology. David 7 can accurately replicate most human emotions down to the tiniest nuance while consistently achieving all mission objectives. 2070. The Food and Drug Administration approves MedPod for at-home use. Since FDA approval, one dozen have been produced with tens of thousands on back order. May 2071, Wayland Industries becomes worldwide Olympic partner and official cybernetics company of the Olympic movement through 2091. August 2071, Wayland Industries earns patent number 18,364,003 for method and apparatus for the Synapse Reestablisher, a device able to temporarily restart brain activity of deceased individuals. 2072, Wayland Industries consolidates all products and solutions into seven verticals, health, transportation, energy, electronics, terraforming, security, and cybernetics. 2073. Based on recent classified findings by Wayland researchers, the company determines the exact coordinates of a new destination for long-time pet project, Project Prometheus. A new round of investment is immediately opened and mission planning enters full swing. 2091. 
the Prometheus mission leaves for LV-223. 2093. Sir Peter Whelan dies on LV-233. 2094. Dr. Elizabeth Shaw transmits... 2099. The Wayland Corporation absorbs cybernetic rival Utani. The Wayland Utani Corporation opens with the largest share value ever recorded on the system's exchange. 2100. After years of preliminary planning, the United States Colonial Marine Corps is established. 2104. South Central North America form a financial collective, the United Americas. Wayland Industries contact with the crew of the USCSS Covenant, a vessel containing valuable human cargo for the purposes of colonization, is lost shortly after an atypical energy burst is recorded. Retrieval of the vessel and cargo is deemed of the highest priority due to significant costs associated with the mission and... 2122. The first recorded contact with Xenomorph XX121. Contact recorded on LV-426 and the USCSS Nostromo. Warrant Officer Ellen Ripley is recorded as the lone survivor of this encounter. Further notes on Ripley's deposition are available upon request. 2130. Co-founded by the Wayland yutani Corporation, Gateway Station is constructed. 2137. As per company notes and recordings, civilian Amanda Ripley encounters a Xenomorph at Sevastopol Station. 2157. Hadley's Hope, a Wayland yutani terraforming colony, is established on LB426. 2179. Third and fourth recorded contacts with Xenomorph LV426 slash USS Sulaco and Furina 161. 2202. United Americas, EU slash UK, China, Hilal Yo, and four independent core system colonies form the United Systems. 2219. The Jirian slash Cadmos mission leaves for LV-223. Contact with the Cadmos is terminated after- 2226. The United Systems military is established. 2291. The Wayland yutani colony at New Indy successfully sues for independence. 2293. A rival company, Wrighton, markets an advanced, faster-than-light drive. Wayland yutani loses USM contract for FTL vessels. 2306. Artificial persons from the Alethea Collective are granted civil rights. All cybernetics divisions suffer under this financial loss. 2349. Mega corporations are banned. Wayland yutani loses final appeal to retain designation three years later. 2356. DNA samples from a xenomorph-implanted human are rediscovered by the USM. Many years are dedicated to a cloning project proposing to replicate a viable xenomorph host specimen, with many early attempts too genetically unsound to survive, exhibiting catastrophic and unexpected mutations. 2376. The first Auton is manufactured, an android designed by androids. 2379. Following a violent uprising on Luna slash AE, Autons are recalled and destroyed. 2381. The most recent recorded contact with the Xenomorph aboard the USM Origa. Further collation of data is currently in progress.